Hello everyone, my name is Tommy. Today I'm going to introduce you to potentiometers. A potentiometer is a device which is able to adjust its resistance. By the number of the terminals, it can be divided into two kinds, the potentiometer and the rheostat. Here is a cutaway of a commonly seen potentiometer. C is the wiper and B is the resistive material. We get maximum resistance when C had a full overlap with B. When no overlap, it's a zero resistance. E and G are two terminals, which is the input and the ground terminal. F is the terminal that's connected to C the wiper, where the current flows out. The biggest difference between the potentiometer and the rheostat is the wiper. There are three kinds of potentiometers. First is a slide pot where we slide the wiper. Second is the thumb wheel pot where we rotate the wiper. Third is the trimmer pot. It works the same as the thumb wheel pot, but it's only used in fine-tuning electric circuits. By the resistance position relationship, we can divide them into two kinds. One is the linear and the other is the logarithmic. We label the linear B or C and the logarithmic A. Like the first picture we find, it's a B10K potentiometer, which means it's a linear potentiometer with a maximum resistance of 10K ohms. Now the applications. We use a log pot in a volume control since the decibels are in a logarithmic relationship. We tone controls are potentiometers combined with either bandpass filter or high pass filter or a low pass filter. In motion control, we use this as a feedback for closed loop systems. More applications. A membrane potentiometer is the touch panel that we found in PDAs where we need a needle or a pen to operate it. In computation, a potentiometer acts as an initial condition in analog computers, like Alan Turing and its machine, Christopher. Thank you all for your listening. Here below are the references. Here, I have to warn everybody that smoking pots can kill. So don't ever, ever try to smoke pots.